Hey everyone, Ray Sawville, RaySawville.com. In today's video, we are going to be going through account structure for PPC campaigns, why it's so important, and why it's a foundational skill for setting up your PPC campaigns. Ensuring that you are using best practices when launching your PPC campaigns, it'll make sure that you understand the foundational knowledge for campaign to ad group to keyword, and it will allow you to organize your campaigns and accounts in the most effective way possible. On the screen right now, I have the Google support article when it comes to account structure. Link will be down below in the description. But for the most part, all you need to know is that a campaign is a group of ad groups that has its own budget, location settings, and it's going to determine where your ads appear. You're able to choose things like search, display, shopping, video, what have you. The next level of your campaigns are going to be ad groups. Now, ad groups are themes and buckets of keywords that you are going to group together to ensure that you have relevant themes, and then you're going to have ad copy that matches those themes. WordStream did something several years ago where they did a pretty good job of showing what this looks like. Now, at the top, you obviously have your Google Ads account. You then have your campaigns broken down, and then you have ad groups and then keywords. So an example here might be if you're a car dealership, you may have a specific location. You then may have a specific make of car, and then you may have certain years of cars or reviews or different things like that, and then different ads that are testing that from an A-B testing perspective. The reason why it's so important to have this foundational knowledge is because if you do not have your campaigns grouped properly, it's going to be much harder to manage down the line, and it may also lead to waste as well, which I'll be jumping to in a further point when it comes to quality score. There are lots of reasons to segment your campaigns and several reasons as to why to switch up campaign types. Some of the major reasons include if you have specific budget goals that you want to hit for a campaign type, or if you have different location targeting. Otherwise, you can tend to group things together, but typically you want to have things that have their own goal in their own campaign or things that have their own budget or location targeting in their own campaign because budgets and locations can only be set at the campaign level. They cannot be changed at the ad group level. Now, quality score is also extremely important when it comes to setting up your campaigns. I'm going to have an entirely different video about quality score down the line, so there will be a link up in the upper right-hand corner to check that out. But ensuring that your campaigns are grouped properly will make sure that your keyword to landing page to ad are all matched properly, which will ensure that your quality score is higher, which essentially means that you'll be paying less for more traffic because your quality score will be higher. Wordstream also has a pretty good example about quality score. Um, now, I don't want to get too much into how the sausage is made here, but for the most part, the higher the quality score, the less you're going to pay because it takes the ad rank, your quality score, and adds one cent to it. Um, and that's how what, that, that, that's what happens when things go out to auction. So if you understand that you have a much higher quality score, you're just going to be paying less. And that kind of comes to fruition here. So you can see if your max bid is two bucks and you have a 10 quality score, the calculation that comes out here is your ad rank is going to be 20. So that ensures that you pay cheaper than someone who is willing to pay higher. This kind of changed way back in the day where Google started rewarding relevancy instead of just plain old budgets. So ensuring that you have the highest quality score possible will ensure that you get more traffic for less budget. And that's why account structure is so important because if you have things grouped properly, it makes it a whole lot easier to write unique ad copy for these ad groups. And I'll be diving into AdWords editor to show you quick ways on how to do that. One last thing I want to touch on before jumping into editor is if you have your campaign set up properly, it's going to allow you to scale much faster. If you have one campaign that is working really well for you, it makes it a lot easier to turn up the budget, to exclude keywords at the campaign level. It just allows you a lot more flexibility. So having structure down and having it set up in a proper way will ensure that you can level up and scale your campaigns in a much faster way if things were just kind of like muddied up and stretched up across the board. Now, I've got a video on AdWords editor. I'll make sure to have a link in the the upper right hand corner but using some of these tips will ensure that you can fly around editor and keeping account structure in mind so let me jump over to adwords editor right now and what i have on the screen is i just mocked up a dummy campaign a search campaign for roofing in close to my city in milwaukee and what i'm going to show you is a quick way that you can use editor while keeping account structure in mind so for purposes of this video for training i have a roofing campaign and within this roofing campaign i've got two ad groups right now the two ad groups I have right now are contractors and installation. In those ad groups, I have keywords for roofing contractors, obviously, and then I have broad, phrase, and exact. I'm going to have another video down the line when it comes to consolidation in ad groups because this is sort of following the SCAG method, the single keyword ad group. So keep that in mind. But I'm going to show you a quick way that you can use editor to your advantage to dupe things out quickly to 
ensure that your account structure stays in place. So if I go back to my campaign level here, you see that I have three different ad groups, or I'm sorry, two different ad groups right now. And if I want to quickly dupe out one of my ad groups for best roofing installation, you can do this a ton of different ways. I can start from scratch. I can use an Excel sheet to upload a ton of different things at once, or I can go ahead and just copy out one of my existing ad groups, change the name from roofing installation to best roof, um, best roofing company. And then what I can go ahead and do is I can jump into this ad group, easily change my keywords, and I can press control H or you can hop in here and go to replace text. And I can replace the text of roofing installation to best roofing company for the keyword tab. And then you can see when I make these changes, it changes it down here for the phrase and the exact. It doesn't do it right here. Um, there are hacks to kind of do this down the line, but for purposes of this video, I'm just going to fly here and just do best roofing company. And you can see that I kept my same structure in place and you can do this for ad copy as well, while literally just duping out one of your existing campaigns and ensuring that structure stays in place. So it's not like you have to reinvent the wheel here. You can use the tools at your disposal in editor or in the interface itself to quickly update things. And that's all I really wanted to touch on today for the video on account structure. Ensuring that your structure is in place is so important, it's so foundational, and it'll make sure that you can scale things much easier down the line. If you don't have good structure, it just makes it that much harder to really organize things, manage your account. Um, like I said, I will have links down below in the description on some of the Google um, articles when it comes to account organization. But for the most part, as long as you follow some of the basic tips that I had where you have things broken up by either goal by budget, by location, and then you have things broken into themes, you'll be in a pretty good place and it'll make sure that your quality score isn't too impacted. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. Right now, only about seven to eight percent of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. It'll ensure that these types of videos are recommended to awesome people just like you. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below in the comments. Until next time, thanks, see ya.